Hi there guys, this is Matthew the Dinosaur King here and today I thought I would do an another review and as you have seen my uh, haul video well, I thought I would do it on this guy one of the most anticipated models of this year the Papo Dilophosaurus now Dilophosaurus was one of the largest early carnivores of the early Jurassic it was about 7 meters long that's 23 feet and about 0 0.5 tons in weight, so 500, 500 kilograms, and was probably around around 1.8 meters tall. That's about six feet, so it could look you directly in the eye. Maybe a little bit shorter. Yes, and it lived alongside a couple of early um, sauropods like Ankylosaurus, um, the small theropod Megapnosaurus, also commonly known as Centarsis and even Sclidosaurus as well, from Europe. Now, remains have been found in North America, but also some remains have also been found in India, which means that this, that this dinosaur would have also lived there as well. Because you know, during that time, most of the Earth's surface was actually, well, connected, which allowed animals to travel to all parts of, of, the, of the globe. Now, with that background out of the way, let's have a look at the model itself. Now the model is very, very well detailed. It's got, but you can see it's got these bright red crests as well as that eye there as well. Also the same colour, as you can see. Got the nostril up there as well. Now there is no ear present, but it would be around there at the back of the skull, right there. You can see inside the mouth as well, you've got the, the teeth, there's the little notch as well. A little notch right there. Got the tongue as well. Detail of the mouth. It's all done. The other side of the head as well. Yes, I have managed to open up the jaw. Yes, I did manage to open it, which was good. So if we come out of there, here we go. You can see, yes, as we go down. Now it is a tripod model, which, as you know, I do not really like but here it does sort of work see his left arm is on the ground and his other feet are at the back so it's all like you know he's like maybe like crouching down sort of looking for food you'd say I guess but the rest of the, the rest of the model is very well detailed as well you've got some uh, great coloration as well it's like um, like a greeny blue going down got some stripes on his leg and on his tail as well that goes curves all the way around it's even got these uh, two orangey brown uh, stripes on his side which I think they look pretty cool now the feet are enlarged but that's just to help with stability as you know I mean everything about else about it is really great you can even see there like a little presence of ribs if I turn it around, you can even see here like, like how like the skin is like folded back as his back leg goes. Some more stripes there. Some more stripes. See, you even see all like the muscles and all the con skin contortion. Got some little spikes on his bottom jaw as well. You can see. Yeah, it, it is a really, really awesome model. And he's, it's actually pretty accurate as well. Although they still didn't sculpt the little fourth finger that even Safari missed out as well. See, and I also like these spikes that are on the back of the neck. And they go all the way down the torso as well. And the tail curves. Right, now, now, I bet most of you are wondering, you know, which one do I like better? The Papo Dilophosaurus or the Safari Dilophosaurus? And, well, in my opinion, the Papo one is the best. Now, not just because it's Papo, but because, well, I think it's a, a much better model. I mean, yeah, well, let's look at the heads. The Safari one just looks really Odd. I mean, just look at the size of those teeth. Even the crest looks a little weird. But Papo's looks fairly normal. And even though it has the notch, Safari has the notch as well, but it's a little 
mangledish, but at least Papo's does it right. Uh, now, Safari's has got like the correct sized feet, but you know, it doesn't really help it stand up on carpet. Well, it does, but not as well. Also, it's a much more slender and sleeker model. Although Papo's, I think, reflects what the actual animal could look, looked like. And once again, the Safari model does not have the sculpted fourth finger. And that one's like a bunny arm, which of course you know I hate. And Papo's, they're not exactly bunny arms, but they are positioned correctly. So yes, so sorry Safari, but Papo's is the best. Uh, you guys might have different opinions, and that is just fine. And I will also compare it, now you're probably wondering, how big is this guy? Well, if you see my other re reviews, here is the Papo Allosaurus for scale. And uh, this is uh, this is actually, I think, the correct, the correct like size for this animal. So yes, the Papo Allosaurus is bigger. So yes, that is this, how big it would be. And even though Safari's dwarfs in height, Papo's, I think, is the best. So you can go over there. And you can go over here as well. So yes, this is my review of the Papo Dilophosaurus. I hope you have enjoyed this, guys. Please comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I have lots more reviews planned, including the Safari LTD Ammonite and the Collector Nothronicus and Utahraptor. As I said, please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's a great reviews planned, so I hope you guys take, take care and have a great day. Bye.